home to over a hundred architectural and significant residences, gardens, parks, and homes. Well, I'm not the only one who loves you here. Most Central is actually one of the top seven urban neighborhoods in the whole country. I'm going to stop here. Going back now. <laughs> Inside this gorgeous mansion is the Woodmere Art Museum. It focuses on historical and contemporary artists in the Philadelphia region. Artists like Elmer Schofield, Francis Drexel, and Edna Andrada, just to name a few. The museum features more than 3,000 works of art, displaying the talents by the most famous Philadelphia artists. You'll also find juried exhibitions by local painters and sculptors, solo shows by newer artists, and gorgeous sculptures on the museum's extensive grounds. Chestnut Hill is one of the Philadelphia region's most beautiful and architecturally distinguished communities. It contains a variety of 19th and 20th century residential buildings by some of the most prominent architects in Philadelphia. Now seriously, nearly every notable architect practicing in Philadelphia for over the past 150 years is represented here in Chestnut Hill. And to help us figure out which style is which, the Chestnut Hill Historical Society has a lot of great information as well as guided walking tours. Chestnut Hill is nestled along the 1800 acres of the Wissahickon Valley Park, which is part of Philadelphia's Fairmount Park. Now the Wissahickon provides residents and visitors access to hiking, biking, horseback riding, picnicking, and even fishing, provided it's the right time of the year. Now there is so much to see here in Wissahickon Park, so I'm gonna show you my top three. Ready? Let's go. The Thomas Mill Road Bridge is the last remaining covered bridge that crossed the Wissahickon Creek in the 1800s. And it's the only covered bridge in a major U.S. city. Now, not too far from here, there's a path that leads to the statue of a kneeling Lenape warrior. It was sculpted in 1902 to commemorate the passing of the native Lenape tribe from the region. One of the most popular destinations in the park is the Valley Green Inn. Built in 1850, it's the last remaining example of the roadhouses that serviced the carriage trade along the Wissahickon in the 19th century. Not to mention, there is no better place to stop for a bite to eat after a long day of hiking and biking. Chestnut Hill was designated Philadelphia's Garden District in 1996, and I must say, it is well deserved. The crown jewel, so to speak, of the Garden District is the Morris Arboretum of the University of Pennsylvania. Now there are thousands of rare and lovely plants here, and some of Philadelphia's oldest, rarest, and largest trees. Set in a romantic 92-acre Victorian landscape garden, there are plenty of pathways and winding beautiful streams, as well as some special garden areas. Whether you're a day tripper, urban explorer, or neighboring resident, what you'll find here in Chestnut Hill is historic beauty and lots to do.